On Saturday at Lumen Field, the Washington State University Cougars took home the win in the 116th Apple Cup, the oldest rivalry game in Washington State sports. Rodgers, option, pitch, didn't get it. They stopped him. And if you were at the game on Saturday, yes, that was myself and my wife on the Jumbotron. It pays to know one of the camera guys. This was the first Apple Cup matchup on neutral site since 1961, and it was also the first Apple Cup matchup since 1961 that was out of conference. And yes, this was classified as a neutral site because technically with ticket sales, it was neutral on both sides. No season ticket holders from UW or WSU got access to the game, and instead, everyone had to pay to get to the game. We're all screwed. <laughs> Lumen Field in Seattle is 4.8 miles away from Husky Stadium. Lumen Field is 286 miles away from Martin Stadium in Pullman, Washington. The Apple Cup was actually played in Lumen Field once prior. This was back in 2011. This was a Husky home game so that they could begin renovations on Husky Stadium before the season ended. With the Apple Cup being this early in the season before the conference matchups begin, WSU students were not back on the west side for their break for Thanksgiving. It was not easily accessible for WSU fans and students to attend the game. And ticket prices for this game leading up to the final week were in the range of $150 to $200 for nosebleeds. I heard tickets drop down to about $20 bucks the night before, but these were not cheap seats. And this was a year that WSU was supposed to have a home matchup for the Apple Cup. The argument is that, oh, a majority of WSU alumni live on the western side of the state, so that should make it neutral, right? All this being the case, the recorded attendance at the Apple Cup this weekend was 57,567 people, which is supposedly 83% of the capacity of Lumen Field. Personally, my thought, it looks somewhere closer to 70% capacity with a 60-40 split Huskies to Cougars. This shot right here in the stadium is midway through the third quarter during Josh Meredith's touchdown, and no one had left the game yet. And one of the guys we have to stop and thank, you could just see the loyalty right here, is former WSU and current UW Director of Athletics, Pat Chun. This guy was the athletic director at WSU from 2018 through 2023. He joined UW in March of 2024, and in August of 2024, it was announced that UW was heading to the Big Ten. I understand that it was those California schools that announced first that they would be leaving the Pac-12, but all of those universities were conspiring behind the scenes. They all knew that they were going to be leaving, and they clearly didn't give a second thought about the remainder of the Pac-12 in Washington State and Oregon State, the future of those rivalries, or the potential implications of how much money would be left for the conference if they decided to rebuild instead of just dissolving like they all expected. And because UW didn't consider any of this before leaving the conference, this is why this game was played at Lumen Field. And it is because UW left the conference that Jake Dickert is now saying that he's going to retire this Apple Cup trophy as the Pac-12 trophy. They're going to make a new one for the Big Ten Pac-12 Apple Cup series, and it's going to be 1-0 WSU. To bring that trophy back to Pullman, it's going to be in the third floor at the CFC if anybody wants to come out and see it. And I think we might retire this trophy. I think this is the Pac-12 trophy. I think that might stay in our place for a long time, and we'll bring a, we'll bring a new one next year. A little Big Ten Pac-12, we'll put the new score on it. So we might retire this one as the Pac-12 trophy and stay in Pullman. Now, the positive is that the Apple Cup is locked down through 2028. Next year, in 2025, it will be back in Pullman, followed by alternating the next three years. But we can still be a little upset about this Lumen Field thing. What do you think of the neutral site? I don't like the neutral site at all. I think you need to play it at one of the team's home stadiums. I mean, that's that's what it's all about, right? This rivalry. When you play here, you can see there's tons of fans not here seats open so yeah i don't i don't like it at lumen i think it should be at one of the one of the team stadiums i think if we carry on with the apple cup i think that it should be at home you know what i mean and and, and when i say home in pullman not neutral ground i want it to keep going no matter what i wish it was still at the end of the year but i'm glad we're still playing it no more lumen field i thought That's, i thought no more lumen field. kind of said it best yeah no Rock this, is, this is not it this no. is, it's either in we're in uw or we're in pullman I don't, and this is not a neutral site let's be real here yeah we're playing in seattle this place is packed and a lot of dogs here yeah I mean, it's fun to see you know i love the apple cup every year but i'd yeah. love to see it in husky stadium or in pullman as it should be in, in pullman place. in pullman in pullman baby and this completely rebuilt uw team is in for a rude awakening against their Big Ten upcoming conference schedule. 
as they will be facing the Michigan Wolverines at home on Mont Lake, they will be heading to Penn State. And if they can't beat their little brother, WCU Cougars, on a neutral site, well, then good luck. Sorry to all of you Husky fans that are still watching at this point. I'm not attacking you. I'm just attacking the people that are way above you at the top of the food chain at the University of Washington. What are your thoughts on the realignment that's going on right now? I think it's terrible, and I hate it. I grew up a Pac-12, Pac-10 conference fan. I love all these teams. I love all the rivalries. And I think they're taking it away because of money, and I think it sucks. I'm happy that we that we got the Pac-6 right now. That's yeah. feeling real good. Brought a lot of confidence back. I wish this game was at home. You know what I mean? Like, I, it just feels good when it's at home. Yeah. So I hope we bring it back home, but I'm real happy that we're building back our own thing. I guess, first off, I'm happy to hear that the Pac-12 is getting more people and staying intact. I like that UW went to the Big Ten because I like playing better, I guess, more nationally known teams. But I'm going to miss, you know, the tradition and all that stuff. I love the teams we added. San Jose State, Boise State, tough teams. I'm sure he loves it. He's a big I, 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 say, I really wanted us to be in the Big 12 for yeah. uh, the uh, ACC. I, I really don't get why we're trying to rebuild the Pac-12. I don't know if it's a money problem or whatever's coming from that, but I'm happy we're rebuilding the Pac-12, and I'm really hoping to see some teams come back, Cal, Stanford, guys like that. Anybody in the Big Ten, you know, UW or uh, USC or UCLA, I feel like they're going to stay locked in down there. But I'm not, I'm not completely disappointed with what we have right now with the yeah. teams we built brought back in. As for the 3-0 undefeated WCU Cougars, they have now beaten a Big 12 opponent. They've beaten a Big 10 opponent. They have a big matchup coming up against Boise State after this Friday's matchup against San Jose State. That matchup will be in Boise, and if they can take down the Broncos on that blue turf, then they are in a great spot for the remainder of the season, and they have a legit shot at the playoffs. In the same light, we have to put John Mateer into the Heisman race. John Mateer is a dynamic athlete that makes him tough to stop. UW had to put lighter guys on the field to try to contain Mateer, which they could not do. And currently on the year, John Mateer is 16th among quarterbacks in adjusted quarterback rating, he leads all quarterbacks with 314 rushing yards and is currently 16th in the nation out of anyone in rushing yards. When he tucks the ball, he is not a quarterback. He is an RB1. Stiff arms that defensive lineman and he's off to the races. Mateer is even ahead of the Huskies' number one running back by eight yards and he's got two fewer attempts. Mateer on the day finished 17 for 34 in the air, 245 yards, one touchdown, one interception. 16 carries for 62 yards, averaging 3.9 with two touchdowns on the ground. And you just don't see quarterbacks moving like this. His 53% completion rating doesn't blow you away, but when he makes plays like this up the middle, or shows his pocket presence, scramble ability, and then he throws a 40 yard dart on the run down the sideline. That'll play, John. Also a big shout out to this offensive line. They gave John a ton of time back there all day. And the Huskies put up a good fight down to the wire, but it was the penalties that killed them. They had 16 penalties on the day for a total of 135 yards. The Washington State offense rushed for 136 yards. And these were in huge spots. This was a third and 18 from Washington State's 25. And number three basically tackles the receiver. This cannot happen if you're UW. As for the interception that was overturned to an incomplete pass, here's a shot of the ball hitting the ground. But the Huskies had a lot of success through the air. On the day, they had totaled 326 passing yards, and Will Rogers was able to take advantage of the deep ball. He showed off his fifth-year senior passing ability, and he is currently third in the nation in completion percentage, with a 77.1% completion percentage. But the question that will be asked for the next year is why did the Huskies change to that speed option play on the one yard line, running the option to the short side of the field with their air raid quarterback instead of going with Damon Williams, who they started to deploy late in the first half, as well as in parts in the second half. Demond is a true freshman at UW and he was a state qualifier in track in high school. Dude can fly and this would have been a much different look. But a huge shout out to the Washington State defense. They have looked solid so far this year. A historic goal line stand in the Apple Cup. But that's after they forced the Huskies to kick four field goals, which very well could have turned into touchdown drives. It was a great Apple Cup game this year and a big shout out to those of you that participated in one of my interviews, or if you just came up and said, hey, and showed your support of the channel. It really means a lot. And if you'd like to support the Couch GM and what I'm doing, make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content like this. 
And also, if you're thinking of buying, selling, or refinancing in the Pacific Northwest, I am a mortgage broker full-time during the day. So make sure to remember me if you or someone you know is thinking of buying, selling, or refinancing. Be on the lookout for the upcoming Wazoo San Jose State Preview Podcast, and we'll see you in the next one.